Welcome once again. Today we celebrate another American saint, although he was not born in this country, St. John Neumann. He came from Eastern Europe, uh, was originally ordained as a diocesan priest, served in Western New York, eventually became the Bishop of Philadelphia, and also entered the Redemptorist uh, religious congregation. That part of John Neumann's life that I want to focus on today has to do with his ministry as a diocesan priest in Western New York. At one time, Father Neumann was responsible for eight different parishes. The closest one was two miles away. The furthest one was 12 miles away. And keep in mind that he could only reach these uh, parishes at first on foot. Eventually, his parishioners persuaded him uh, to ride a horse. They gave him a horse. Uh, it took him a while to learn how to ride the horse. He was only five feet, two inches tall. And so often the horses would uh, uh, throw him off their backs and uh, his feet were not long enough or his legs were not long enough to reach the stirrups. Those are all interesting side uh, stories about him. But what struck me about St. John Neumann is that his situation in Western New York in the early 1800s is very similar to the situation we face in the American church today, that there is a, a shortage of priests and that there are priests who are responsible for multiple parishes. And so on this feast of St. John Neumann, I invite us to pray in two ways. I invite us to pray, first of all, that there might be more priests to serve the sacramental needs of the church in America and around the world. And also I invite us to pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit, that we can discover new ways, new ministries uh, for people so that, uh, the, the, so that God's family can be uh, served in the way that it needs to be served. Thank you once again for watching.